In this video we're going to complete example one which is all about substitution. Now the word substitute or substitution basically means to replace and what we're replacing is numbers in place of pronumerals. When we look at example one it says evaluate the following expressions given that a equals 5 and b equals 2. Looking at question A, you'll notice the question says A minus 2. And we are told that A equals 5, which means we're going to replace the A with the number 5. It now becomes 5 minus 2. Quite often people say that we substituted A equals 5 into the expression A minus 2, or we can also use the word replace. We might say that we replace the A with the number 5. Anyway, it's quite simple to work this out now. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's now move on to question B. It says 3A plus B. You might remember that when you have a number next to a pronumeral, such as 3A, it really means 3 times A. There's like a hidden multiplication there. So we'll do that first. Now we can substitute. So we're going to replace the A with a 5 and the B will be replaced with the number 2 since B equals 2. We have 3 times 5 since A is 5 plus B which is 2. Now when we work these out it's really important that we follow the order of operations bid mass remembering that brackets is first indices come second indices are like your powers or your square roots division and multiplication come next they are actually equal to each other division does not come before multiplication and multiplication does not come before division and lastly we have addition and subtraction which are also equal to each other looking at our expression in question B you'll notice that we've got multiplication and addition and according to bid mass multiplication needs to come before addition so let's do that first 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 and then finally we add 15 plus 2 is 17 let's now move on to question C we have 4 over B minus 2A remembering that 4 over B actually is division and also 2a is the same as saying 2 times a let's now substitute numbers in place of pronumerals so we know that b is 2 and a is 5 following the order of operations you will notice that we have division 4 divide 2 we have multiplication 2 times 5 and we also have subtraction now subtraction will definitely come last so what do we do first division or multiplication we'll do our division first because it's closer to the left and we'll do our multiplication after that what is 4 divide 2 well that will give us 2 4 divide 2 is 2 minus 2 times 5 okay next we've got subtraction and multiplication multiplication comes before subtraction 2 times 5 is 10 that will give us 2 minus 10 and 2 minus 10 will actually give us a negative solution it will give us the solution of negative 8 we will now move on to question D you'll notice that this time we have a number next to a set of brackets this is another situation where there is a hidden multiplication We'll write this down below it's going to be a squared minus 2 times bracket a plus b let's now substitute the numbers in place of the pronumerals here a is 5 a again is 5 plus b which is 2. now following our order of operations we should do our brackets first so this time we're actually going to add our numbers first 5 squared minus 2 times and in our set of brackets 5 plus 2 is 7 so next to my multiplication symbol I'll write the number 7 
What comes next on our order of operations? There are no more brackets, but we do have an index. We have 5 squared. 5 squared, which means 5 times 5, equals 25. So we have 25 minus 2 times 7. We now have subtraction and multiplication. Multiplication comes before subtraction. 2 times 7 is 14. So down below this, I'm going to write 25 minus 14. And now I can work this out. 25 minus 14 gives us a solution of 11. That concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.